Hello everyone, my name is Gita, and welcome to your Pick a Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be, What Do They Fantasize About You? Alright, so this is going to be stone number one with a rose quartz, stone number two with a tiger's eye, stone number three with a clear quartz crystal, and stone number four with the amethyst. So you can take a moment and pause the video and get out your pendulum. And while you're doing that, I would just like to say that if you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. Alright, well thank you very much and let's go ahead and get started and let's find out what they fantasize about you. Alright, so I have the cards for stone number one with the rose quartz and let's find out what they fantasize about you. So we have the ace of swords, we have the page of cups, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Two of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Very interesting. So the signs that could be associated with this could be like any air sign, any water sign, and any earth sign. So that's pretty broad. And then the Queen of Pentacles is uh, Sagittarius Capricorn. So I do see there's some fire in here, so... Basically, I think it's a free-for-all as far as the signs go on this one. It's going to be a big mixture. So, what is it they fantasize? Man, you know what the number one thing is that they're fantasizing about is communication. Communication, 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 clarity. <sighs> this must be a person who either you've blocked or you have something going on to where you're not communicating. Because, I don't know, if you're communicating, they just must really like communicating with you. So let me try and pick this apart. <sighs> Two of Wands. This is like, they're like contemplating communication, contemplating like the potential of the situation, the choices. They, they fantasize about having the, ch the power to choose. I don't know if they don't typically have it, but that's what they're fantasizing about. And I feel like the choice is about communicating. Dang. Uh. <sighs> Page of Cups. So, <sighs> fantasizing about sending this amazing letter. <laughs> I just kicked this up. This is kind of funny. Sorry, I can't help but laugh. They're fantasizing about sending this amazing letter. He has, or he or she has a really strong desire to express themselves creatively. like telling me stuff about the situation instead of just the fantasy anyway so it's saying that he fantasizes or she fantasizes about sending these amazing well articulated letters that will clarify everything and kind of set you free and make you and and want like they want to in, invoke thoughts that will help make you contemplate 
and like and think about the potential of the situation like they they want to really impress you okay they also want to give you a material gift this is a little broken up i'm not gonna lie all right i apologize this is the way it is though it's like they're they're having multiple like their fantasies kind of like scattered But, again, it's about sending you this a message that is so romantic. And they want to offer you material things, too. And they, I feel like they want to send you the letter physically, so they might actually send it to you in a letter or send you, like, um, a card or something like, I don't know, maybe in, like, a birthday card or something like that. And that, this is kind of funny, like not funny haha, but like funny and interesting. Um, and, it, and then you will be so grateful and you will be so happy and you will basically reward them and you want to come together with them. gonna break it down another way like it's the same fantasy but I'm trying to get into it's like the intention fantasy you know you ever sit around and think like man if I could just do this or if I did that I could do this and then they would maybe they would do this that's what they're thinking about they do fantasize about sexual things they fantasize about for some of you it could be tying uh, tying each other up hopefully not anything malicious but also playing footsie they want to have I feel like okay so I'm getting that this this um letter is going to include, you know, taking you out to dinner, wanting to take you out sometime. And they imagine like this type of scenario here. See how her foot is uh, rubbing on his leg and they're talking and they're very intrigued with each other. That's what they imagine happening. And then it would it ultimately result in a very, I can't put this too close, but a very gratifying encounter. Anyways, that's what they fantasize. I'm going to leave it at that. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. If you, if you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number two. All right, so I have the cards for stone number two with the tiger's eye, and let's find out what they fantasize about you. So we have the nine of swords in the reverse. We have the ten of cups. We have the seven of pentacles. We have the high priestess. We have the ace of pentacles, and we have the five of cups. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So the signs that could be associated with this reading is Cancer, any earth sign, could be water sign as well. It's like earth, earth and water mostly in Cancer. <clears throat> so they fantasize about Like, there's like the scenario where that they can do something intuitively or like telepathically or something spiritually to help you release yourself from any anxiety or worry over a situation or just in general. 
And then the fantasize, like part of the fantasize, like I'm continuing it, um, like a new start, maybe even working together. And then bringing you all of this happiness. Seven of Pentacles. It's about like assessing. Oh, okay, okay. I say like um. They're trying to have patience. Okay. They're trying to be patient in general, but they miss you very much. They miss you. They definitely feel a loss. And the Five of Cups. Sexually, they fantasize about <clears throat> very passionate caressing, but the part that they focus on the most is like the after, it seems, like after you've made love. string their string tying them together it's where it's like a completion like a coming together like like there's I feel like it would be you and them and like spirit coming together that's what they that's what they really want when it comes to making love is that they want to kind of like be whole, be complete, be but not only be right with you and them. Um, this probably person, this person probably imagines um, like your twin flames or soulmates or something. They also fantasize about a reconciliation of some sort where you're able to talk openly and say things that were left unsaid that have that need to be said now there's like a lot of things this person's thinking about <laughs> what's that Sorry, I'm just looking. I feel like they have the key to unlock a bunch of things inside of you intuitively, spiritually, maybe even psychically. So they have they have these two keys. Uh, Claire. See how she has two keys in her hand? So they feel like that they have the keys to unlock something spiritual inside of you. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to stone number three. All right, so I have the cards for stone number three with a clear quartz crystal, and let's find out what they fantasize about you. So we have the ten of wands, 
We have justice, which could be Libra. Could mean there's a Libra going on in this situation. We also have the tower, which means there could be an Aries. And we have the seven of pentacles and the stars, which could be an Aquarius in this situation. And also the nine of swords. So what do they fantasize? to read the Ten of Wands here, mostly here. I feel like they want to do something to help um, relieve you of some kind of burden. I feel like the problem I'm having, I think, with reading it is that usually I can pick up what kind of burden it possibly is, but it's like, actually, it's going to be so different from person to person that because this is a general reading that I'm having a hard time picking up what exactly the burden is going to be. For a lot of you, it's going to be monetary or some kind of, it's going to have some kind of material thing involved. So you may actually work with this person or they may desire to work with you in some way, but they want to help relieve some kind of burden from you. Like share a burden, that's what it feels like. That's what I guess heard. Share a burden with you. I feel like they want... They imagine... They fantasize about having balance between the both of you. And there being um, hope. Uh, they're very hopeful or, and very optimistic. And peace. Let's have the star and the tower here. The star usually comes after the tower. But... It's like, when they feel like that, okay, once they can relieve you of this burden, that it's going to help you have balance, and it's going to bring you peace and hope and, like, renewal. But then it's saying that, okay, I feel like it would, like, question their beliefs, or your beliefs is what I mean to say. They want to do something to shake you up, like not mean or anything, it doesn't feel like it's mean, but do something that shakes you up so it can help you realize and release and work on any, if you're having anxiety or worrying about something. They feel like it's what you need. They imagine that happening. Or on the romantic note, they imagine, they fantasize massaging you with like an oil of some sort, burning candles. It's very romantic for some situations, it's like multiple situations, but there's some where you're, I feel like you're sneaking off in, in making love. It could be in nature, just like out of other people's eyes. I was like a secretive thing. I feel like there's a bit of a secretive nature going on here. If you were to. Let's see. Also, I am sensing that I don't know, a 
feels like a tie, like a bounding, binding you to them in some way. For some of you. Also, well, no, they're just, I have to, I just want to say that they are very attracted to, like, your hips. And <laughs> it's, like, so visual, like, you know, grabbing the hips and, you know, uh-uh. <laughs> you can laugh at me, all right? I don't care. Oomph, oomph. <laughs> That's the words I used to use. They, that's actually like kind of, I think there's a lot of guys who are, are thinking this because uh, <laughs> it seems like a classic thing a guy would think about. They just, I feel like they, they fantasize about a very like passionate lovemaking where it feels like it's just so out of control and like everyone's dying to like rip each other's clothes off type of thing and then afterwards they end up not even making it to the bedroom and sitting on like the chair or something maybe they made love in the chair wherever and the trees You know, so that's what I'm getting out of that. I, I'm trying to describe it. I'm sorry. This one's kind of got me. <laughs> so, yeah, so. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Sorry, this one's a little bit tricky on me. There's like a few, there's so many things to say. There's so many different things, and I'm trying to make sense of them. And I'm just, I don't think I've, I'm not doing as good as I usually would do. So please excuse me, every, every reading is not going to be perfect. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number four. All right, so I have the cards for stone number four with the amethyst, and let's find out what they fantasize about you. So we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. We have, which could, which can mean any wa any water sign. Um, we have the Fool, which is Aquarius. We have the Ace of Pentacles, which could be any Earth sign. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Moon, which means Pisces could be involved, and we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. This one, I'm gonna think that uh, you maybe had a relationship or something, something going on with them in the past. If that's not the situation for you then maybe it might not be the right reading if it doesn't resonate, but I might want to check the other ones otherwise, but hmm. So they they imagine like some kind of scenario where you're just like feeling very emotionally unbalanced. Maybe you got into a, an argument or a fight with this person and um, you're feeling emotionally unbalanced and uh, they can't let go of this past situation with the Ace of Cups in the reverse. I keep getting like insincere emotions. So someone was acting insincerely. You know what I mean? Like being fake. Like I, I imagine 
either you or them somehow didn't maybe said something you shouldn't have said or something like that or maybe you just acted like you didn't care someone didn't I feel like someone acted like they didn't care but they really did that's what I'm getting out of that that's what it feels like and they imagine the situation where you're releasing this past situation because they're stuck in the past about this situation I feel like it's mostly going to be them who maybe acted like they didn't care about you when they really cared more than they actually did or it could be you it could be a it could be turned around but this is weird either memories that they're blocking or they may be choosing to only remember bad parts of the past and overlooking good things like the good memories anyways so we have the fool and the reverse and I don't see like a communication or anything right off hand But, I see like a lot of confusion. There's confusion and intuition. And then, like they didn't trust you or you didn't trust them somebody was distrustful and closed-minded whoever the person was who was acting like they didn't care and they really did I feel like they someone turned maybe they turned you down or you turned them down but the ace of pentacles that they fantasize about actually having a new start, okay, and there being an apology. They fantasize about reconciliation. They replay the situation, the scenario in their head. And then they, they imagine um, there being a reconciliation, but then having it grow, possibly, I'm feeling like for a lot of you, into something more, something more romantic. You know? That's what they, I'm sorry, it's not very like, woohoo, like, but. I'm, I'm just under the impression that a lot of you are probably not communicating with this person or something. Well, there's something happened. But they do think about reconciliation. They fantasize about, well, maybe if I did this or if I did that. I feel like they're looking back and they're missing you. And they are thinking about some of the things that they... What, things they could have done differently, wishing they did things differently. And they try to, they replay scenarios in their head on what they can do to clarify or fix the situation. Like what would they do? A lot of people do that. That's technically a fantasy. I do feel like they're, they think about, oh, and like, like you reconcile and then kiss. I feel like some of this fantasy might take place on a beach. And then for those of you who have access to beach and then oh, I don't know. 
everything being perfect. I don't know. That's what they imagine. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number four. I... <laughs> If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. In the video description. Anyways, that's all I have. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.